Hello, this is Jedi Master Daniel 96 and today we are going to be reviewing Thrawn by Timothy Zahn and let's begin. I really enjoyed this book. Like I think this is probably the best new canon book I have read by far out of all the new canon books I've read. And like pretty much it's Timothy Zahn so yeah and pretty much Timothy Zahn didn't overwrite his character like pretty much with Thrawn his eyes glow like they do in the book in the old books um talks about threats in the unknown regions um he was exiled, he's a Chiss, his real name from the Expanded Universe, his birth name, Mithron Nudo, however you pronounce it, um, and the Chiss Ascendancy is referenced in this book. The book is pretty much a crossover between the Expanded Universe and the new canon, which pretty much, like, this book, like, if the Expanded Universe didn't get cancelled, I think definitely this book would have been made. Also, another interesting thing in this book, that Thrawn met Anakin Skywalker during the Clone Wars, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, the book is pretty much about Thrawn rising through the ranks of the Empire, and you have characters like Governor Price from Rebels, who pretty much look who's the lady imperial officer who looks like the villain from the fourth indiana jones movie um you have colonel wolf yularen who's in the clone wars tv show and you also that's in a new hope in the death star meeting room i mean tarkin makes an appearance in this book um the Emperor makes an appearance in this book, and Darth Vader has a cameo in this book. Um, also, we have Thrawn's translator, Eli Vanto. And... That's the characters of this book. As I said, it's pretty m the book is, as I said, this book, as I said, it's Thrawn rising through the ranks of the Empire and this book is pretty much a prequel to him in Rebels and I feel like as I said this is like the crossover of the new of the EU and the new canon like maybe a, with a few tweaks I feel like this book could definitely fit in the old expanded universe timeline and pretty much, yeah, this is definitely between episodes 3 and 4. I'm not sure how many years it's set before A New Hope. If someone knows, let me know in the comments down below on how many years it's set after Revenge of the Sith and how many years it's set before A New Hope. And... Yeah, so I'm not sure like how many years it's before the Battle of Yavin if as I said before let me know in the comments down below for that and yes like this is pretty much Timothy Zahn's first time as a whole writing for the era between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope I mean pretty much when you look at him in the old, when Timothy Zahn wrote in the old expanded universe, I mean, you had for post Return of the Jedi, he had the Thrawn trilogy, which was Heir to the Empire, Dark Force Rising, and The Last Command, and then he had the Hand of Thrawn duology, which was Spectre of the Past and Vision of the Future and Survivor's Quest. Oh, and another one I forgot. The Mara Jade comic series he also wrote in there. And 
Timothy Zahn also wrote a book in the original Expanded Universe, which was Outbound Flight, which was set between episodes one and two. And then he pretty much before, like, the reboot of the Expanded Universe, like, kind of, you know, before the buyout with the Disney buyout, um, yeah, Timothy Zahn had three books set between episodes four and five, like Allegiance, Choices of One, and Scoundrels. And as pretty much about out of all the Star Wars books Timothy Zahn wrote, this is his first post revenge this is like his first book in the nineteen year gap between Revenge of the Sith and a New Hope. As you look at his books as a whole, even though this is in a different timeline than his others. And definitely I would recommend the book. Like I'd recommend that you go grab a copy of this. Like it's a pretty good read. I'd say it's worth your time. And also... Yeah, that's all I gotta say, and don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to the channel, and comment below what you thought of the book, and catch you guys next time. Bye.